No sign of him, huh? Happy. I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? <laughs> And just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It, I never should have brought him here. Yes, Zero made me an offer. You mean you came here voluntarily? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Why? Please, just do it. Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. Good work. It's dark now. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guessed when you turned off the light. Yeah. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Sorry, but I've got to go. I need to go look for Quark. I can't tell you. Yeah? You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking you, put yourself in my shoes. It won't do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh. I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Well, what is it then? No. No, I didn't. Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Get going. Move! Looks like another warehouse.
Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Never mind that. There's someone else here. Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. Oh. Nothing. Just going with the flow, you know? And seeing where life takes me. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. So I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. Yeah, did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It blows for good in nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you could get stuck. So, what are you guys here for? Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Oh, really? You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, you'd be hanging from that crane right now. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the A-B game won't pick Ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you two. Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. Yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. <laughs> anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. Ugh, oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and K are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... Exactly. Right. The only one left is the other cyan pair, so we can assume that's what Quark is. No, there's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. Right, on my way.
Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? It reminded me of something we saw earlier. Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Do you know what that means? What about the other part? Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Huh. <laughs> Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Exactly. Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. We should get moving. Astute observation. What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Just want to check something really quick. The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Find something? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. The truth hurts. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Oh my god. I noticed something. The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. Look at the number 6 AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. It's the first thing you think of when you hear blood. Yeah, this whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on! This is no time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Right. What do you think was going through her mind? And? 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 You're 
almost there. Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Wait, when's the start? Huh, finally figured it out, huh? Yeah. Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? And, who was trapped in there when the Nonary game started? What do you think this is? Seems like it. Hmm. This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with his handkerchief, and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, it came out. Seems pretty likely. This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Right. Hmm? You're right. Sigma.